and I'm going to show you how to make sausage, broccoli rabe, and cannellini bean dish. It's really good. So, I have chicken sausage that I'm going to grill, but you can do anything you want with it, whether it's roasting or sautéing. I have cannellini beans. I have broccoli rabe that I'm right now going to throw in this boiling water for a couple minutes. Excuse the mess, doesn't matter. It's all going to get in there. Give it a quick little stir, make sure it's in the boiling water. Okay, I have an ice water bath to do to make sure we put the broccoli rod in there so it stops cooking when we take it out. Very important. I have shallots, a couple shallots that are diced up. And I'll dice this one up right now real quickly. I have about four or five garlic cloves that are thinly sliced, and I'll, thi and I'll finish that one up too. We are going to grill these chicken sausage on the grill, and then we'll bring them in and include it into the saute process. So here we go, on a very modest fire, we're going to throw them right on. Ah, there's the sizzle, <laughs> but trust me, it is like 10 below out here. Not really, but it feels like it. But it's okay, I have my wine. There's the sizzle. Hopefully you can hear that at home. Put that on. Get some extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna put it right in the pan. A few tablespoons. This, hand's been, this pan has been heating. So it's hot and ready to go. And we are just right now gonna add in, like I said, about a couple shallots, diced. About four or five garlic cloves, sliced thin. All right, and the kicker is a healthy, healthy pinch of crushed red pepper that goes right into the saute process. All right, I'm gonna stir that together. Get it nice and translucent. And I'm ready to add the cannellini beans right into the mix here. I'm gonna stir that in. And now what I'm going to do, which I think is really important, I'm telling you, if you don't do it, it's a big mistake. But, I'm taking a potato masher, and I'm mashing half the beans. I like what it does for the consistency. You still have half the beans intact, but this half is mashed. It makes it nice and creamy. It just does wonders, trust me. Just do it, because if you don't, it's a big mistake. I'm going to let that cook for a little while, and we're going to flip them. Uh, these are chicken sausage. They're really delicious. We get them in a market close by our house. They're healthier than pork sausage, and honestly, in this dish, you really don't miss the pork sausage. And there they are. They look delicious, and they're going to be one. melded in this dish right now. Look how beautiful that looks. It's unbelievable. They're wonderful. And we're going to add the broccoli rabe. We cooked this, we put it in an ice water bath so it would stop cooking, drained it after it was in the ice water bath, and now it's just being incorporated back into the saute mixture. All right, we're gonna take the chicken sausage off the grill. And look, they're definitely ready. So these chicken sausage, they've been actually, they're pre-cooked, so essentially all you have to do is warm them up, but they cooked about a few minutes aside. Really, if you're cooking any type of sausage, you just want it nice and brown all the way around. Totally cooked. Cook it for a few minutes. And I think we're ready for the next step. But first, we're going to add a little pinch of salt, a generous pinch. And we're going to do some black pepper. You can't have anything with broccoli rabe without adding a nice little splash of kosher salt and some fresh brown pepper. So the cooking for this dish has really been pretty quick. Each step is about a few minutes, three to five minutes. And now, what we're going to do... is cut our chicken sausage at an angle because it's going to go into the mixture and it's going to cook for a few more minutes. So the sausage is now incorporated back into the saute mixture. And usually I slice the sausage a little thinner, but today I'm in the mood for something a little bit more meaty. It's all done, everything is all melded together and it's ready to be put on a plate. So now if you serve it 
with a piece of crusty bread, you are in like Flint. So from Rattle and Pans TV to your house, enjoy.